Hello everyone, my name is Oni and welcome back to Undertale and it's time. Oh ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the date with Papyrus. Hi Paps. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take some you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. And we fucking zoom in. <laughs> fucking U turns. My house! We fucking. For, shizzle, for real. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? Yeah, it's empty. <laughs> Paps, no! This is my brother's pet, Rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Move my mic away from my wire. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with sugary non-egg substances. <laughs> Ooh, perhaps I think your brother's a stoner. How upset! Aha! Interested in my food museum. Please, pursue my culinary, culinary art show. How the fridge is filled with containers, all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed. I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. Yeah, this is the beef that Paris has that fucking dog. Look at this son of a bitch! Look at this son of a bitch's fucking face! Catch that! Metal and canine! Curses! <laughs> Sense! Stop playing my life with incidental music. There's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sense! Please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Can you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decided to stop. Can I look at the couch? You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. Find a lot of loose coins under the side of the couch. You got 20 gold. Did I just steal from Papyrus? I. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MMTT. What? It should be better than this. This is a bad episode. Don't judge me. The door is locked. Bone. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Boners? You're a fucked person, Paris. You know what's in this room? That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Whoa, ho, ho, papyrus getting spicy in here, aren't we? Go inside? Yeah, I've looked at everything out here. The fucking music stuff. This became a horror game all of a sudden. Isn't that flag, you know? And Dine found it at the bay. I think it's from a human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have such a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think that humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah. Uh, you. Who, who's gonna tell him? I I can't personally. I can't tell him. Someone has to though. Ah yes, that should be yes. A great pre reference for theoretical battle scenarios. Why do? How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from. 
a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise, to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Santa gets you 100 ration weeks. There are no skeletons inside my club, except me sometimes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. You have negative two subscribers? Fans? Followers? Fuck. Of course, fame has a steep price. A just troll has been besieged on my online persona. Always had to be bad puns in a goofy font. Sans. That's my bed. If we ever get to the surface, I like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. And of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Man, Papyrus, I love you, buddy, but... How, how the fuck do I break this to you? How, how do we break this to Papyrus? Who's good, Tom? It's like that one fro fro frozen meme. I'm good, Tom. Don't you dare. I, 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 okay. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Um, yeah, why not? Okay, dating start. <laughs> dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can spell prepared without several letters. You, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name and some communication errors. I tagged an official dating rule book from the library, and we're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one: press your controller's triangle button for the bell. Wednesday. Wowee! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Hubert, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. We're really- Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step, th step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning. Uh, yeah, baby. Fucking papyrus face. No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. It's over 9,000! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my style? Love it. No! A genuine compliment! Yeah, bitch. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. The day won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Ahem. <clears throat> There's no secret to my legs. I is... Hard, just hard work and preservation. My hat? I, I pressed your nose. I booped your nose, but okay. My hat? My hat? Yeah! Well, well, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? 
Right. But oh, so wrong. This is just any plain old pasta. It's hard as it work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged in Okinawa cask. They cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus Human. It's time to end this. There's no way you can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe more than I do. Ah! Err! No! Did I just fucking kill Papyrus? Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy, too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? It's just you, babe. <laughs> oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I didn't like you the way that you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I, I tried very hard to... I thought because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the day, feelings would blossom forth. I'd be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper. Into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? Papyrus. No, no, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail in anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship, so please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't have, because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for the second best. Yeah! Papyrus broke up with me. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah! Papyrus broke up with me. I, how am I supposed to go on? I, I'm heartbroken. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. See you all in the next one. Goodbye for now. <laughs> Damn it, Pyrus.